What's up YouTube, this is Detroit Borg and in this video we're going to demonstrate the 720p rear facing camera on the iPad 2 and uh, like the iPod Touch 4th generation it's a sub 1 megapixel camera uh, it is capable of 720p video recording it doesn't take very good photographs however and again that's just like the iPod Touch 4th uh, generation there is no autofocus, it's a fixed focus lens so tapping on the screen uh, changes the exposure so you can if, for example if you have a dark subject in a light background if you want to bring up the lighting of the dark subject just tap on it and it will adjust automatically alright so the next few clips are going to be outside and a few macro shots inside so pay attention to the audio quality and uh, how the camera operates under varied lighting conditions so here we go guys What's up YouTube? This is Detroit Borg with a look at the camera on the iPad. This is just an outside look. Now we're inside looking at some macro shooting, so here are my MacBooks. If I go up really close, you can see it sort of falls out of focus. And if you tap to focus, all it does is change the exposure so it gets a little brighter in the darker areas. I pull back, tap to focus on the Apple logo. Didn't change much, but if I tap to focus on a darker subject like on the tabletop, you can see it lightens up. And again, if we do some macro shooting, uh, looking at my pile of iPods right here, you can see I'm virtually on top of them. I'm maybe five inches away from the camera lens. So you can stay in focus uh, pretty well. It's just like the iPod Touch fourth generation camera. It has a fixed focus lens and has a pretty good range. Certainly reasonable for most uses. You can't tap to focus, of course. So uh, the iPhone 4 would be better for this purpose. Once again, guys, this is Detroit Borg. Thanks for watching.